Morning guys, it's the uh, first day of my vacation and a really gloomy day, but um, we have a lot of projects to work on on the boat this week. So uh, it's gonna be very busy. Um, we gotta run to the store, pick up some parts, but we're hoping to replace uh, some items on the boat, uh, replace and clean out the waste, uh, the head filter, uh, the vent filter. I'm looking to install some 12 volt outlets for uh, car chargers and and 12 volt fans, things like that. And then some uh, maintenance items down on the bills we're gonna get involved in. So we're gonna be really busy uh, over the next few days. So uh, that's my, as I said, vacation. So um, I'm not missing any really nice weather. I'd like to get out and do some compound and waxing on the boat, but uh, let's work on the indoor maintenance items first. So stick around. Next up, going down into the bilge. And we like to replace the vent filter for the head. So I modified that about a year or so ago where I could uh, open it up, dump the old charcoal out, and refill it with new charcoal to rejuvenate the uh, odor eliminating properties of that filter. It's a lot uh, cheaper, cheaper um, very easy to do. It's a lot cheaper than replacing the entire filter with a new which costs about fifty dollars or so um, so for the cost of uh, maybe 50 cents of charcoal that you could get a fit at a fish supply store we uh, revitalize that filter so we'll do that next Easy enough. So here's the activated charcoal. We call it carbon media that I picked up. I believe I got it on Amazon. Probably uh, this is a four pound container and I, I'm sure I paid less than $10 for it or so. Um, and all you need to do is replace the charcoal that's in this tube with this carbon. So this tube is actually the exact same one that was on the original store-bought tubes and what I did was I cut it open cut the old caps off which was permanently sealed and I put these PVC fittings on 2 inch PVC with screw cap plugs that uh, you could open up and get access to the interior now I don't hear anything shaking there I believe last year I emptied it and I did not fill it. I was waiting to the spring. So here we are in the summer. So I was working without an activated filter for a while. So uh, this should help improve things. So, yeah, as I thought, I didn't fill it up. So I'm just going to pour new charcoal in there and reseal it. And you can see it's just an empty tube. I'm trying to get this on the video. An empty tube and on each end with these screw plugs it has a just a foam filter that keeps the carbon from flowing into the tube. So the gas vents from the uh, waste tank vents into one side of the tube, goes through this filter, goes through all the charcoal and then comes out the other side which is the exact same thing on both sides same cap and access you only need to open up one of them I put a little tape PVC tape uh, Teflon tape around here to seal the gases a little better but um, it's very simple I'm just gonna fill this up and we'll have a brand new filter it's really easy to do this if you have a funnel which I just happen to have you just stick the funnel here and pour the media right in right to the top here you can see the charcoal nice and fine it almost looks like gunpowder it won't flow all the way through because there is a foam filter at the other side so you just Put the funnel, make it nice and easy. And 
pour it in until it's filled. So this four pound container, I've done this, this is the second time I'm using it. I didn't even use a quarter of the container. So this could last for uh, about eight refills maybe. All right, so we're filled just about to the top. You don't want to overflow it. You got the sponge there, the foam piece that'll keep it in place. And just snug it down. Doesn't have to be too tight. Okay, so I'll talk a little bit about these caps that I built. I just I picked up all these pieces from Home Depot, and you just got a two-inch PVC pipe that gets to a threaded fitting and then I have a two inch cap threaded cap that screws in I drilled it out and I picked up one of these just this is just a regular hose barb fitting that I uh, I stuck in there and I used uh, I think I just used Gorilla Glue to uh, seal that in there you can see how it foams up a little bit and that's snug so uh, that just has the hose fitting screw on it from the vent in the tank and then on the other side going to the side of the hull and then out to the uh, exterior of the boat so we're pretty good it's nice it's packed in there good so uh, we'll reinstall this now the direction of reinstallation doesn't matter screw this on snug Actually, I should have got the other side first, but and you can see it's a little shorter in the bracket. I gotta move these brackets over, but it sits in there and holds it fine. The original tube was a little bit longer, but when I cut it and put these caps on, it ended up being shorter. So uh, you might just wanna retighten these clamps a little bit, because it does spin a bit. At least I'm gonna do it. Yours may be fine. Let me get the other end on. All right, we're all set. On to the next project.